Hallelujah. It's another day with Pastor Bim TV. I bring the word of God to you today and the word of God for us is give thanks. It says to give thanks. The Bible enjoins us to give thanks. It says give thanks to the Lord, O ye people. Hallelujah. So God has been good. We must remember to give him thanks. The song goes, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son. And now, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Give thanks because of what the Lord has done. Let the rich even be richer. Hallelujah. So if you say like the poor say I am rich, what about those who are rich? You will be richer in Christ because it's from glory to glory. Hallelujah. One with God is for blessings, eternal blessings. Hallelujah. Let the healed continue to enjoy good health. Hallelujah. Because God the same yesterday, today and forever. He's been good to us. He will continue to be good to us. And we must pause to say thank you for all he has done for us. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 2 says to us, it says, Sing out the honor of his name. Glory to God. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sing out the honor of his praise. Have you been singing out the honor of God's praise? The Bible says we should make his praise glorious in a spectacular way, in a unique way, because he has been faithful to us, so generous to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm 66 verse 3 now says, Say to God, how awesome is your work. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. Glory to God. Your enemies are God's enemy. Because you are his own. He shields you. He clothes you. He provides for you. He neither sleeps or slumber, watching over you, protecting you, safeguarding you, providing in different manners. The Bible has said to us, you know, the second verse, he says, sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Hallelujah. Come and join me. Sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me. Sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me we must sing his praise. You must acknowledge his goodness. You don't want to be ingrate. He has kept you, provided for you food on your table. The Bible says, I shall not want because the Lord is my shepherd. You shall not want. He will daily load you with benefit, the things that you require. So why not praise him? Praise him. In any situation, praise him, the Bible says. No matter what the Bible says, praise him. Give him the glory. Because his plans for you are good. Plans of good are not of evil. To give you an expected end, that expected end, that dream, that vision. To fulfill his purpose for your life. Hallelujah. The wise praise God. The wise praise God. You want to know who a wise man, he praises God. He is grateful for both things he has seen big and small. Glory to God. Psalm 145 verse 3 says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness, his, his, his greatness no one can fathom. No one can fathom his greatness. Hallelujah. Great is our God and most worthy. Hallelujah. You have not stopped to say thank you. In one week of prayers, it's time. 
it's time to thank him pause and thank him because it takes a child with wisdom a mature child of god to pause and say thank you for the fresh air for life you sleep you wake up for the benefits around you for being alive for shielding you it's a day of thanksgiving i will praise you O oh my savior i will praise you O oh my savior i will praise you O oh my savior i will praise you forevermore from those accidents and incidences he protected you he kept you those days when you've called on him where comment my help he had showed up hallelujah thanks thanks i give you thanks for all you have done i am so blessed my soul has found rest oh lord i give you thanks oh lord i give you thanks bless the lord oh my soul i bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name so that everything that is within you know that it's time for attention for his praise he has been faithful your great provider, your Jehovah Jireh, your Jehovah Nisi, your Alpha, your Omega, the beginning and the end. Your great God, He's a good God. That who He is, that who He is, and you are loved by Him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's see what Psalm 7 17 says. It says, I will. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing the praises of his name, of the name of the Lord Most High. I will. Will you? Will you sing his praise? Will you stop a moment from, give me God, what's happening, Lord? You have forgotten me, have you? You have not done this. You have promised me this. Or, Father, do this. I need this. And, you know. Every night you go to bed saying, watch over me, he watches over you, you wake up, you jump up and go to work. The next day you come back. It's not by path. It's not by mind. And he it says, it's by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by path. Neither by mind. By my spirit, says the Lord. He has been your fortifier, your protector, the lifter up of your head, your shield, your buckler, your ever-present help in time of trouble. So it's time to just bombard him with praise, not request. Praise him anyhow, any language that comes to you in the spirit, just praise him. Adonai, I worship you. Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. That is acknowledging him. That is recognizing him. I'm a mother, I can just imagine lavishing my daughter with this and that, blessing her, taking care of her, giving her the best, doing things for her, you know, making frantic efforts to make sure she's comfortable. And all I hear is, give me this again. Give me that again. Give me. You wouldn't like it as a parent. And that's why we train our children to say, 
What do you say thank you? Even as little as two years old or even younger, we say take and the child does and you say, you say thank you. And the Bible is enjoining us. We are children in God's vineyard. We are being taught to give thanks. He said, give thanks to him. Praise him. Worship him. Psalm 145 verse 3 says to us, Great is the Lord, our most worthy of praise. He's worthy of our praise because of the things he's doing for us, his children. Gave it the psalm, he says, I will give thanks to the Lord for his righteousness. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord. What about you? Hallelujah. Psalm 35 verse 37 says, Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. For a reason. He says, Let them shout for joy and be glad. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Hallelujah. So why would you praise him? Hallelujah. Why wouldn't you? You can't be offended with God. Because you have been waiting and waiting and it looks like he promised you in the first place. And your time is not his time. He's a beautiful God. Bible already enjoys us in that back of two, three, that do it, tarries, wait for him. His plan for you are good, plans of good and not of evil. To give you a hope and a future. And the future is glorious. You can thank him ahead of that future. Yeah. We can thank him ahead. We don't need to see it before we thank him. We can thank him in advance because it never fails. It will come. So we can lift up holy hands. We can praise him. Adore him. Adore him. Adore him for Jesus is Lord. There is no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus who walk in the Spirit of God. So it may not look like it, but the Bible lets us know there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So you may be here today and you think, I should be somewhere, but there is hope, there is no condemnation. You can thank Him for what is ahead, for what is coming. 